Well, the fallout from the terror attack in London, just part of a busy day for the White House, another busy day. The Trump administration also unveiling the first component of its infrastructure plan and gearing up for Senate testimony from fired FBI Director James Comey. He was fired on May 9th. His first comments. Those coming on Thursday. We're joined to talk about all of this by Republican strategist Kevin Paul Scott and columnist Ellis Hennigan. Good to see both of you gentlemen today. Hey, Lauren. Good to see you. Where should we start? Let's, let's, start, let's start with infrastructure. Ellis, I'll begin with you. Isn't this something that we can all get on board with? Bipartisan support. Let's, let's make you get to your destination faster, safer, and cheaper. Yes, as long as it's really infrastructure. I mean, clearly, we need to do something about the roads, the bridges, the transit systems, and the air travel system. It, it worries me a little bit, though, when the president's first stab at this is to throw a political sop to the hard right in his party and try and privatize some plan that has failed to get through Congress year after year. I don't know if this is so much about infrastructure as it is about ideology. And if he wants bipartisan support, Mr. President, get back to the real infrastructure, okay? Well, we're taking a look at infrastructure uh, stocks, many of them up double digits since the election, but they're mixed today. We are seeing some weakness for some of them. And Kevin, I ask you this, is that because investors are saying enough is enough? You promised this on the campaign, let's just get it done. There's no reason why we can't get an infrastructure plan in place. Do you expect that by the end of the year, by the end of the summer? Yeah, I think you're right. I think uh, investors, Democrats, everybody is looking for the infrastructure plan. They're looking for something we can agree on. Uh, I, I think Ellis is right that it does put a divide between the Republicans and the Democrats on the issue of privatizing air traffic controllers. While I think it's a huge win, it's something the president needs to do. By tying it up in the infrastructure bill, it makes it much tougher to build the consensus he needs to get it through, and he really needs a win on this infrastructure issue. Ellis, Theresa May, the British Prime Minister, said today, enough is enough mm -hmm. with terror. We have to do something to fix it. Why can't more people get behind the travel ban here in the U.S. as being the next well, measure that, that's necessary? Because that's not what's going to fix it. I, I mean, it, 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 so many experts say that that's just going to inflame the problem and, uh, and to cause additional issues in alienating the very people we need to help us in this fight. This is tough stuff. I mean, right. trying to stop somebody with a car and a knife in a crowded urban area, you know, that's a low good luck with attack. that. That is an ISIS attack. Yes, it but is. Kevin, our, our officials, our administration is worried about the more complicated, the larger attack yep. and it could be a plot on aviation and that's one of the reasons that the administration wants this travel ban no yeah, I mean, here, you're exactly right. And the, the real question we're asking here is, is what's happening abroad, is that going to have any play on Trump's travel ban on getting through? And I think politically, it definitely helps advance his ideas. It, it makes more and more Americans, even more moderate Americans, say, you know what, there's something going on. We've got to do something. Now, on the legal side, Trump's tweets probably don't help him too much in the courtroom. So this kind of is a tough, tough situation for him at this point. Uh, th that is a very good point. But I want to move on to our final topic, and that is Jim Comey, the fired FBI director. Ellis, he testifies before the Senate on Thursday. I want to know two things. A, what will he say? And B, will we see the memos? Will we see his memos? Well, I, I think we may. Here's, here's what I will predict. I don't know exactly what he's going to say, but he's got a surprise in his pocket somewhere. <laughs> this is a guy who knows how to play congressional committees. He knows drama, and he knows how to make a case which involves holding something back until you really need it. Do watch. It's going to be a great show. Um, do you expect the Donald Trump to, um, to invoke executive privilege here? Uh, Kevin, or do you think the administration is no. just going to say, let's get it all out once and for all, just <laughs> air all the dirty laundry? No, I, I think you're right. I think it shows some confidence in the administration. Sarah Huckabee Sanders in today's White House press briefing said that the president will not invoke executive privilege. I think that shows that the administration is feeling pretty confident that Comey is not going to have some bombshell that's going to take down this administration. 